Hello everyone, I'm back. This is me, Ma'am Nov, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Mam Nov's class and this is general mathematics. So are you now ready? Get your pen and notebook and let us learn. Okay, so functions. This is for quarter one, module one. Look at these pictures guys. We have mangoes and a basket. So ano kaya ang relationship nilang dalawa? Okay? Meron na tayong mangoes pa rin, pero kinain sila. Okay. Meron na tayong watermelon, pero nakaslice lang. Let me define relation. Relation is any set of ordered pairs. Okay, so meaning nakapair. The set of all first elements of the ordered pairs is called domain. So yung first set niya, di ba yung grade 7 niyo uh, na-discuss kayo ng uh, sets. So, yung first set, ang tawag doon, domain. And the set of all second elements is called the range. So, yung set naman, yung isang set naman is called range. So, ano itong function? So, a function is a relation. So, meaning, ang function, relation, relation din siya. Or rule of correspondence between two elements. So, my rule, okay, between the two elements, which is yung domain and yung range. Such that the element in the domain, the element ng domain, corresponds to exactly one element in the range. So, sige, balikan natin yung picture kanina. So, yung mga manga, yan ang domain. Meron din tayong basket, which is yung range. Okay, so, yung mga manga, inilagay sa isang basket. So, meaning, Yung mga maraming mangga, inilagay sa isang basket. Ang tawag doon, many-to-one relation. So, may, ang, uh, ang many-to-one relation is a type of relation. Okay? Now, ang tanong, function ba siya? Ang function, okay? Ang function is a relation or rule of correspondence between two elements such that each element in the domain corresponds to exactly one element in the range. So, so Yung manga, pwede ba siyang mailagay sa basket? Sa isang basket para matawag na function. Tama. Pwede. Kasi it corresponds to one element in the range. Yung mga manga corresponds to exactly one basket. Okay? So, ang tawag dyan, function. Okay. Next, another example. Okay. May mga manga. May mga taong kinain ang mga mangga. So, anong type of relation yan? Ang tawag dyan is one-to-one. -one. Isang mangga, kinain ang isang tao. Isang mangga na naman, kinain ang isang tao. Isang mangga na naman, kinain ang isang tao. So, meaning, ang domain natin nag-correspond siya or nag-map siya sa range natin. Isa-isa. So, meaning, ang tawag dun is function. Next, watermelon. Hinati, hati ang watermelon. Okay, so isang watermelon, naging maraming watermelon. Ang tawag dun is one-to-many relation. So, function ba yan? No? Each element in the domain corresponds to exactly one element in the range. Exactly one element lang dapat ang nasa range. So, that is not a function. Okay, let's have an example. Another example. Okay, we have a blue set and a red set. We have a domain and we also have a range. Okay, so as you can see, 4 is mapped to C. 5 is mapped to D. 6 is mapped to E. 8 is mapped to F. So meaning, that is a function because yung elements ng nasa blue set corresponds to exactly one element only sa range. Okay, how about this? Yung nasa blue, 
si 4, map to C. 4, map to D. 4, map to E. So, nag-correspond ba siya sa isang element only sa range? Hindi, di ba? So, that is not a function. How about this? 4 is map to C. 5 is map to D. 6 is map to E and F. So, dito, very good. Exactly one element sa range. Dito rin, o exactly one element sa range. How about 6? Dalawa ang kanyang pares sa range, si E and si F. That is why that is not a function. How about this? 4 is map to C, 5 is map to D, 6 is map to E, 8 is map to E. Yan naman. So, pwede ba yan? Yung dalawang domain, isa lang kanyang range? Pwede, kasi ang sabi, each element sa domain corresponds to exactly one element sa range. So, that is called a function. Let me repeat. Each element in the domain corresponds to exactly one element in the range. Now, let us decide whether each relation defines a function. So, we have set A, 2, 3, 4, negative 1, negative 3, and 5. That's right. A is a function because for each different x value, there is exactly one value, one y value. So, we have 2 map to 3, 3 map to negative 1, negative 3 is map to 5. And this is called 1 to 1 function. How about this? 3, 1, 3, 4, 3, 6, 4, 5. Is that a function? That's right. B is not a function because... One first component corresponds to more than one second component. So, tingnan nyo, C3 corresponds to 1, also corresponds to 4, also corresponds to 6. Hindi siya one element in range. That is why that is not a function or B is not a function. Okay, let's try. How about if the given are graphs of relations? Can you identify which are functions? Let's try. So, we have this technique. We call it vertical line test. So, a relation between two sets of numbers can be illustrated by graph in the Cartesian plane. And that, a function passes the vertical line test. A graph of relation is a function if any vertical line drawn passing through the graph intersects it at exactly one point. So, kapag dalawa ang kanya na intersect, that is not a function. Kapag isa lang, that is a function. So, let's try. We have this graph. Okay? Get this graph. Is this a function? Try natin. Try natin mag-draw ng vertical line. So, nag-intersect siya sa isang point lang. It means that is a function. How about this graph? So, if mag-draw tayo ng vertical line, how many intersections kaya? Or intersecting points? Dalawa, hindi ba? So, 1, 2. It means that is not a function. So, di ba? Very easy. Mas madali kong graph lang kasi gagawa lang tayo ng vertical line test. How about this? Ellipse. So, you know, vertical line, vertical line, dalawa ang kanyang intersection. So, that is not a function. Next, how about this? Parabola. Okay, if you try to draw a vertical line, so, anong sagot? That is a function. Very good. Now, we also have functions that can often be used to model real-life situations. Example, monogamous marriage. Si husband, isa lang kanyang wife. So, kapag faithful siya sa kanyang wife, wala siyang kabit, Ang tawag doon, function, kasi one to one lang. Okay? So, one husband and one wife only. Okay. Mom, what if si husband hindi, hindi faithful, hindi siya loyal, may kabit siya? Now, hindi, yan, hindi na yan function. Kasi one husband is too many girls. ba? So, that is not good. 
nationality rin. Tayo ay Filipino. So, hindi pwedeng dalawa ang ating uh, citizenship. Especially kapag dito ka pinanganak. Pero, may mga special cases because sometimes may dual citizenship ka. So, religion. Hindi rin pwedeng dalawa ang religion mo. So, if baptized ka as Catholic, so, Katoliko ka. Pero if baptized ka as, Mus- as Muslim, so, Muslim ka. Okay? Meron din tayo, offspring to mother. So, meaning, marami kayong magkakapatid, many, di ba? Marami kayong magkakapatid, ni isa lang ang inyong ina. Okay? Many to one. So, function din yun. Reminder, all functions are relations. Meaning, lahat ng mga functions, relations yan sila. But, not all relations are functions. Okay. So, example lang. Di ba? Oh, tingnan nyo sa picture. Yan. Silang dalawa. Mag-boyfriend and girlfriend. So, kapag si boyfriend, marami siyang karelasyon, meaning one to many na, magpa-function well ba siya? So, hindi siya maka-function well as boyfriend kasi nahati ang kanyang time. Yan ang example. Nang Not all relations are functions, but all functions are relations. Okay, let's try. A person is earning 750 pesos per day to do a certain job. Express the total salary S as a function of the number N of days that the person works. S of N, meaning S function of N, is equal to 750 pesos times N. Why? Because... 750 pesos ang kanyang earn every day or per day. Imumultiply natin how many days siya nagtatrabaho. So, ganun lang. So, let's say dalawang araw siya nagtrabaho. So, meaning, imumultiply lang natin 750 pesos times 2. Which means, kung dalawang araw siya nagtrabaho, meron siyang kita 1,500 pesos. Next, Sandria rides through a jeepney which charges 8 pesos for the first 4 kilometers and additional 50 cents or 0.50 pesos for each additional kilometer. Express the jeepney fare as F as function of the number of kilometers D that Sandria pays for the ride. So, ang solution dyan class, yun lang. Okay? F of D, okay? Equals 8. San galing ang 8? Kasi sabi, di ba? 8 pesos for the first 4 kilometers. So, yung parang base natin yung 8. Constant natin yung 8. Add, mag-add tayo ng 0.5 kada additional kilometer. So, kung nag-additional kilometer tayo, i-multiply natin siya. So, 0.5 times yung additional kilometer, which is 8 plus 0.5 times D. Now, what if nag-additional kilometer siya ng isa? So, let's try. So, ganyan lang class. Okay? 8 plus 0.5 times 1. So, multiply muna natin. 0.5 times 1 plus 8 is 8.50. So, kapag sumobra na siya ng 4 kilometers, sumobra na siya ng isang kilometer, so, which means 5 kilometers niya, so, ang kanyang babayaran na is 8, 8 pesos and 50 cents. Okay? But, ang sinabi lang man dito is express the jeepney fare. So, ang sagot lang natin dito is yung nasa red. As well as yung kanina. Ito yung nasa red lang. Okay, example lang ito, example lang ito para mas maintindihan ninyo. Okay, so, we also have this piecewise function. It is a function in which more than one formula is used to define the output. Each formula has its own domain and the domain of the function is the union of all these smaller domains. Example, para mas maintindihan. Ganyan. So, parang may, ano siya, may condition. Okay, so formula 1, if x is in domain 1. Formula 2, if x is in domain 2. Formula 3, if x is in domain 3. Okay, example, a user is charged 250 pesos monthly for a particular mobile plan, which includes 200 free text messages. Messages in excess of 200 are charged 1 peso each. Pag sumobra na siya ng 200 sa free messages niya, so, charge siya 
So, charge siya ng 1 peso. Represent the monthly cost for the text messaging using function T of M, where M is the number of messages sent in a month. Okay. Solution. So, yan lang, class. So, ito yung function T of M. Okay? Function of M, where M is the number of messages sent in a month. So, ang kanyang babayaran sa isang buwan is only 250 pesos. If ang kanyang text messages are greater than zero but less than or equal to 200, which means kailangan ang kanyang text messages lang is from 1 to 200 lang. Para ang kanyang babayaran is 250 pesos. Pero kapag sumobra naman ang kanyang text messages, which is M, huh? so ang kanyang babayaran is 250 pesos plus M. So, we have, if M is greater than 200, so let's say 201, so ang kanyang 201 messages, meaning, ang kanyang babayaran is 250 plus, ano? Ano yung M? Plus yung 1. Okay, so 251 pesos ang kanyang babayaran monthly. Ulitin natin. So, kapag ang kanyang text messages is between 1 to 200 only, ang kanyang babayaran lang is 250 pesos. Pero kapag sumobra ang kanyang text messages ng 200, o oh, M is greater than 200, let's say sumobra ng isa, so meaning ang M natin is isa or 1. So, add lang natin 250 pesos plus 1, Ang kanyang babayaran sa buwan na yun is 251 pesos. So, yan ang maganda sa piecewise function kasi may mga different ano siya, uh, condition. Number two, a certain chocolate bar costs 50 pesos per piece. However, if you buy more than 5 pieces, they will mark down the price to 48 pesos per piece. So, kung bibili ka ng more than 5 pieces, mas makakales ka, di ba? 48 pesos na lang babayaran mo kapag more than 5 per piece, ha? Okay, so use a piecewise function to represent the cost in terms of the number of chocolate bars bought. So, ang solution, o, oh, ganito. Kapag ang binili mong chocolate is, oh, ang chocolate natin is N, ha? Uh, represent natin ng N. Okay, so kapag ang binili mo ng chocolate is greater than 0 but less than or equal to 5, which means between 1 to 5 pieces lang binili mo, ang babayaran lang is 50 pesos. Pero, kapag ang binili mong chocolate is greater than 5, let's say 6. Okay, so ganito na, 48 times 6, kasi 48 pesos na lang ang chocolate per piece. Natindihan? Okay, now, you can try to answer the activities from your module. Study well, students. Thank you for watching. Bye. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Stay at home. Help your parents and your family by staying at home. Para iwas virus. So again, it's me, Mam Nov. I hope nakatulong ako. Bye.